Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here back with day two of the ultimate tech gift guide giveaway extraordinaire. But if you didn't know and you're tuning in for the first time, I am doing seven days of best tech items that are perfect gift ideas for yourself, important people in your life, friends, family, girlfriends, maybe just yourself if you're looking for some ideas to spoil yourself. Yesterday was best tech under 25, today is best tech under 50, and we'll progress to 75, 100, 200, so on and so on until we reach seven days of goodness. On every day's episode, you have a chance to win one of the items that you see here, and it's super simple to enter. Just simply sub to the channel, smash this like button on this video, and leave a comment what your favorite item was, and that's really all that I can ask for. This is just the simplest way of me saying thanks to all of you for watching and putting up with my face for the past year, and I will be making a video on December 25th, Christmas Day, and announcing all seven days of winners. So you don't want to miss that one. I think that should be enough talking. That covers everything. Let's get to our first item. If you guys follow me on social, you know that I am usually team Xbox and I have been playing so much Xbox One X. This of course is the Xbox controller. And I think the dope thing is you can use your previous, say Xbox One X, Xbox One S, and they work perfectly, which is nice since you don't have to constantly swap them. I actually got this controller from Xbox Canada with the new Call of Duty World War II game, which I have just been killing it. It's the game that I've been spending most time on. This one's in a military green, and I'm loving the little bits of orange around there. And to hook you guys up even more, I'll throw in a free download code right now. Whoever gets that, congrats. You've just won a bonus extra giveaway. If you managed to snag this one, let me know in the comments. Item number two for all of you iPhone users out there. I remember when I was switching to the iPhone X, I had so many photos on my 7 Plus as well as 8 Plus, and I couldn't back all of them up as I didn't have enough iCloud storage. I kind of got this guy to do all of that for me. This is the SanDisk iExpand base, and this kind of just sits on my nightstand, and every night when I plug my iPhone into this guy, it automatically backs up all of my content from my iPhone, and it also charges it as well. So it's a nice little two-in-one. This one is 32 gigs and under 50 bucks, and of course it does come with that 32 gig SD card right at the back. The next item, if you're looking for a pair of Bluetooth wireless headphones that won't break the bank, check out the Zin Soko ZH01 wireless Bluetooth headphones. These are a solid pair for, as I said, under $50. They're $49.99. They're a solid sounding pair of headphones. They do come in multiple colorways. You can see this one is tan with some rose gold, or you can get the standard black with, of course, silver, and they do fit nice and comfy on your ears. They've got nice and soft cushioned ear cups. I've enjoyed them, especially when I'm traveling, you want to put that noise cancelling action on to make sure everything is drowned out in the background, and they do fold up so they are a tad bit easier to travel with. Item number four is probably the first drone that you should get if you're getting into, I guess, the drone market. You don't want to drop a thousand plus dollars on, say, a DJI model. You want to just practice with something. This guy is 50 bucks, so perfect for you, perfect for your kids that are just getting into the game, and you won't be too worried if if they do crash this. This is the Drocon 901H, and I'm not gonna try to fly this in the studio. I can turn it on though. It does come with a drone itself. Everything is kind of in this all-in-one package. The drone can actually fold up and you can store it inside the controller so you don't have to carry around two separate things. It's a cool little tech piece, and I know a ton of you are asking what is the cheapest drone that you've seen that still flies half decent and doesn't crash and actually works with a controller. Check this guy out. And the very last item today, this would not be a best tech series without having a power bank. With all of the tech that we've been using, we gotta keep them solidly juiced up. This one is from Pizen. It's slightly more expensive than say a 10 to $15 power bank. It's got 20,000 milliamp hours of juice, so it should be able to charge up all of your devices. But I think this one's a bit more premium. It does have an LCD screen, which shows you how much juice that you have left. And it also has a faux I would even say leather-like finish on the sides, which makes it feel nicer than some of the all metallic ones. I think I'd pay the extra money for this one. It does have two USB ports up top, and of course the micro USB port to charge this guy up. And that should be it for the best tech under $50 in this tech gift guide giveaway. 
Bonanza, extraordinaire. Remember, you can win one of the items that you saw. Just be sure to sub to the channel and leave a comment on what your favorite one was. And I'll be announcing the winners on Christmas Day in both YouTube and on Instagram. So follow me in both places. And I hope to catch you guys in tomorrow's episode, which should be best tech under 75 bucks. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.